Hello and welcome back friends to another episode of Lynch Paint where I, Lynch, will be showing you all how to paint one of the latest releases for Star Wars Legion, Ahsoka Tano. So let's grab our brushes and our paint and let's get started. And before we begin we're going to need all of these wonderful paints. And in terms of brushes we're going to need a medium sized fine detail brush. We will need a very fine, fine detail brush, super fine, and a medium size, medium to large perhaps, um, basin brush. And so we will start out by, of course, priming our model in a white acrylic spray rather than a black, because the majority of this model is predominantly quite bright. Um, we're going to start out with her skin tone, so we're going to grab our orange our dragonfire bright and it's kind of a bit of an odd um, skin tone it's not directly orange uh, it's kind of a bit yellowy so I'm just going to add in some of this um, Kisabelle flesh and I want to do a little mixture of the two and just kind of play it as I go there's probably a colour already out there that um, is the same shade. But I don't personally have it with me. But to be honest, if you have the basic colours, you can make any colour you like. So I'm going to start out with probably a 70-30 ratio. And have it nice and watered. So we have a nice flow. And we're just going to apply the first layer on. Just nice and easy so now we're just going to apply a little bit more of our lighter colour of this uh, kids battle flesh just into our mixture just to try and build up these colours I'm going to try and stay as true as I can to the box art for this and I'm going to try and be careful not to get any of this skin tone onto her white hair, skin, stuff. I'm not too sure what it's probably called, but let's go with hair, skin. Ooh, that doesn't sound right, does it? Now just introducing just a little bit of white just to highlight some of the raised areas of her skin, so like her knuckles and parts of her face. So now we're going to move over to her under armour and for this we're going to need black and I'm going to use a little bit of Administratum and Grey just to make it a... Um, so like a very dark grey, almost not quite black. Um, because we are working over a white base, we might need a couple of layers of this. So if you put it on and you think, oh, this looks rubbish, just be patient and give it, give it two coats and you'll be just fine. So now we're just going to build up the grey of the under armour. So we're just going to introduce a little bit more of our light grey, our uh, administratum grey. So now we're going to move on to her armour and it's a bit of a kind of a dark greyish blue. There's a hint of blue in there. Um, so I'm going to use some of this Thousand Suns Blue and I'm just going to mix in a bit of black, a bit of grey and a bit of this blue. So now to get a lighter colour all we're going to do is add in a little bit of our light grey and then head back over just to pick out the lighter areas. So 
And now for highlighting and just the tiny, hard to reach places, I'm going to swap out for this little fine brush. And I'm just going to pick out a few areas. So just to help tidy up a couple of areas around the skin, we're just going to grab a little bit of this Agrax Earthshade um, or your chosen brown wash and we're just going to just apply a little bit just around the edge just to help smooth that line in. So now we're going to move on to her legs. So we're going to grab some black and we're going to bra uh, brown. <laughs> we're going to brown. We're going to grab some more fang brown. And we're going to do her little shim plates. I noticed that on the box art, it looks like that they've done a bit of a uh, non metallic metal gold sort of style. Um, I believe, anyway. So we're just going to add in a touch of this orange as well so we're going to start out with I think it's just like the kneecap and just this front face this front edge here just like that yes I can confirm it is a um, like a non non metallic gold effect that they're going for I managed to grab the box and got it just sat in front of me, just off camera. Um, so let's go for it. So we got these little side panels as well that are in a similar effect. Um, you don't have to go for this whole non-metallic metal process. If you don't want to, you can in just paint it gold. It is entirely up to you but I'm going to try and do as close to the box art as I can. So just as this first layer of the uh, of the brown is drying, I'm just going to go over the other areas. We're going to do our non-metallic so silver work with the first base colour, which is going to be a very dark grey bordering onto black. Gonna do a nice smooth coat just to begin with. So, returning back once more to the gold, we're just going to introduce a little bit more of the brown and the orange mixture, just in and around the area. And then as we are moving our way lighter and lighter, I'm going to introduce a little bit more of the orange before later on adding in a little bit of yellow. So now with a tiny brush and a little bit of white, I'm just going to try to pick out just certain raised areas just to make it stand out. So I started to try a, a non-metallic metal on Harama and then I kind of realized something I thought well hang on a minute I can just do a similar thing but with actual metallic paints so let's do that instead so we're going to grab some of our Iron Warriors base and mix in a little bit of Abaddon Black just to darken it down a little bit deeper then we're going to do her armor panels So 
So now we're just going to add in pure Iron Warriors base. So next up we're going to take some of this Grey Knight Steel, which is a lovely light blue silvery colour. And we're going to mix that in with our Iron Warriors. I'm just going to use this just to start to blend in a lighter silver. So now I'm going to be using just pure Grey Knight Steel. Then as our final highlight, we're just going to take a tiny brush and mix in a little bit of white scar to our Grey Knight Steel. So now I'm just going to move over briefly to her lightsabers. So to make the white stand out a little bit more, I was going to tone the white down a little bit. So I'm going to use some of this uh, Corax white base colour and yes I know it's separated and it's gone to crap but um, I'm going to try and make the most out of it and just with the fat sort of medium brush it's going to apply just a nice base layer just up the back and just around the lightsaber just to give it a couple more layers just on top of that white spray paint that we put on at the start and so here we have our lovely apothecary white contrast colour and just while the sabres are drying it shouldn't take too long. So just looking back over at the um, the box art I may have made a bit of a mistake so around the belt um, we can see that I've got this the silver colour on um, I mistook that for a grey <laughs> um, so I'm just going to go back over it just very briefly with a medium sized brush. I mix up some grey with a bit of add on black and add a bit of stars from grey. But of course before we move back over to the face we're going to finish up those lightsabers so I'm going to grab some of this lovely white scar and a nice fluffy brush and what we're going to do is that instead of trying to wet blend uh, we are just going to dry brush this white paint just over the lightsaber then i'm just going to use the same technique just to carefully dry brush over her hair so now moving on to the face, we have quite a bit going on there, don't we? Yes. So we have a, a headdress that we are going to make a dark grey mixture. And I'm going to use a teeny tiny brush. Guess I can get as close as I can without having to overspill onto our lovely white because we have done such a wonderful job with that. And we don't want to spoil it now. Okay, so still keeping that tiny brush handy, uh, we're just going to go back over the crown just to pick out a few little details with our silver paint. Alrighty, so we're going to look at the uh, hair skin stuff, uh, <laughs> the, the blue bits, the blue bits, and we're going to take out a thousand suns and a little bit of this administration grey, we're just going to give it a little mix. And with our teeny tiny brush, we're going to water it down to the point where it becomes practically a wash. Because we want this to settle into the recesses. Um, it looks a bit too bright, so I'm just going to add in just a little touch of black. And then we just want to carefully apply this. So 
So just so you're aware, um, the very tip of here, there's no recess mold for the blue to go into, so you're just going to have to freestyle it at the end. Add in as many stripes as you like. So now we're going to move over to a face and we're going to very carefully with a teeny tiny brush water down a little bit of white and we're going to go in and do her face tattoos. So I have gone over some of the face with the white, so I'm just going to tidy up just a little bit with a bit of this mixture that I've made that will match the skin tone. So now comes the tricky part, so we're going to finish up with her eyes and her lips. So the lips, easier of the two, he says. I'm gonna get it wrong now, aren't I? Jinx myself. And we're gonna take a tiny brush, a little bit of black. Okay, so I had to just tidy up the lips a little bit. I wasn't too happy with it the first time round. So we're just going to look at the eyes. And again, we're going to take our black, nice and watered, and you want to be steady as you can. So, we're going to take our white, we're going to take our tiniest brush that we can find, and we're going to very carefully do two dots either side of the eye. So here we have it folks, this is how I went about painting Ahsoka Tano for Star Wars Legion. I managed to get it as close as I could to the original box art and I think I've done a pretty darn good job indeed. It was really quite fun to paint, very very different and uh, if you wanted to pick up a coffee uh, for yourselves then you can check out my affiliate link in the description for Wayland Games, they're a UK based retailer and they stock loads of hobby essentials and models for a discounted rate. If you want to go check them out, there's a link in the description. There will be stills and reels of this model over at my Instagram page at Lynch Paints. So if you want to go over there and check me out, that'd be amazing. And if you're new, just give me a little follow, that'd be fantastic. So you guys can all stay up to date with all of my painting projects. I've got quite uh, quite a few coming up soon, so keep an eye out for that. It's all exciting stuff. And if you want to support me just that little bit further, then do check out my link in the description for um, for my coffee page. And um, that would be absolutely amazing if you wanted to support me over there. That'd be very very appreciated. Uh, if you are new as well to the channel, a little like and subscribe does go a long way. And if you want to comment down below, which part of this video was your favourite or if you have any other sort of different suggestions of how I could have painted this a little bit easier or quicker it is entirely up to you. So I hope that you are all doing well wherever you are in the world. Stay safe, stay safe, stay safe, stay beautiful and we'll see you next time.